Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, Dan was just talking, Blind Owl Bushcraft was just talking about making files into strikers. Well, I wanted to show you the process of doing that. I have never done one before. Sorry, my bench is atrocious. It's pretty messy down here and we're in the process of cleaning all this up so this is not what it normally looks like but we will eventually get this all cleaned up and fixed up but the process of making a file into a striker get yourself a file put it in the vise put it in a vise and then hit it with a hammer what will happen is it will snap off like that just usually snaps off pretty cleanly like that so yeah just have it in a vice like that wind it up tight and then just hit it with a hammer it'll just snap off because these are very brittle the good ones and it'll just snap this one here I snapped off I'm not going to snap this one because I want to use this one for forging later on um, I'll go on and then start grinding it and show you I'm going to grind all these teeth see how it's got teeth on it all the way here I'm going to grind all those teeth off it pause it take you upstairs and show you how it sparks after I've ground it all off grinding it on here is fairly loud um, yeah we can do that um, I always dip it a lot just so that it doesn't ruin the tent, ruin the um, ruin the 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 heat treat in it. So it's just a matter of That's not getting hot yet. I can touch it with my fingers. usually pretty indicative of how um, how good it's going to spark by how many sparks the grinder gives off
Okay, I've gone around all around, chamfered all around the edges. Around the edges, cleaned up all of it. I'm just going to do it on the on the smooth side now, just to give it a bit of a smooth up. I've taken all the teeth off it, all the way around. Pretty much cleaned it all up. You can tell when you're holding it, if you're getting it too hot, that's all still being capable of being held without hurting my hand at all. And that's all pretty cleaned up. And as you can see, it's all nice and smooth on the edges. What I'll do is pause you, bring you upstairs, and we'll spark test it. Okay, we're back now. So we're back up here. I'll just get my char cloth out. I did, some, I did up some terry toweling. Because my wife gave me a terry toweling. Don't normally like terry toweling char cloth, but I never say no to any type of terry, uh, any type of char cloth. Okay, so that's the file, all nice and clean, ground up. All the file teeth have been taken off the side. Always leave the file teeth on the side. There gives you good grip. Let's see how it sparks on a sharpish edge. Plenty of sparks, no dramas whatsoever on there. Bit of rock. That's on that edge, on the other side. So that's making plenty of sparks. Now I'm not exactly sure as to what type of file this one was from. Um, I know it was a bastard file, but that's all I know it was from. Plenty of sparks. I did just make this stuff up, so it should be quite reactive, but it doesn't seem to be picking it up very well at all. I like denim. I don't like terry toweling very well at all. Sparks are falling in it, and it's just not picking it up. Well, that's very disappointing. Sparks were going in there and it was picking up for a second and then going out. But as you can see, plenty of sparks anyway. I might have to discard that char cloth because that's not picking up sparks at all. Oh no, it is. It did, eventually. <laughs> anyway. I might have another go at it. I'll have another piece. Nice and windy today. Good test of my skills at driving sparks.
we go. Uh, went out again. This is not the best char cloth at all. It's certainly getting embers when it when it picks it up. But as you can see, that was just a little bit of a I wanted to just go through the process. These files make good good strikers if you want to make want to make it but as you as you saw it's just a matter of keeping it cool and just grinding it up grinding the edges smooth all the way around and if I wanted to I could um if I wanted to make it spark even better I could put that in the forge heat it up um hot punch a hole in it just for a um just so I could put it on a, a lanyard or whatever and um, then thoroughly quench it and it would probably spark even better. But um, most of the time these files spark just fine without having to worry about quenching it. So, you know, like you don't really have to worry about taking them into the forge because that, that, that's sparking, sparking adequately. Um, both sides without out any dramas you know like I don't think you'd really need to go any harder uh, any any better than that really but I just wanted to go through the process I actually hadn't shown um, shown one being ground down as far as doing it on a grinder it's a pretty simple process and um, yeah, there's plenty of tutorials on, on it before but I thought I'd just go through the process of it. Of it. Um, I was wearing glasses so yeah, um, while I was doing that, so yeah, that, 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 that's no dramas there. Um, I was wearing, wearing glasses. I probably should have had full face safety glasses on but um, yeah, um, I didn't. But I did have glasses on so yeah, I, I wasn't... Um, wasn't um, wasn't too worried about getting stuff thrown back into my eyes. But anyway, that's how you grind down a um, a file to make it into a striker. Thanks for watching.